to Group I's seventh lesson. In our previous lesson, we learned about I2C protocol and that how it's different from the normal GPIO protocol. Today, we'll learn about a sensor called DH11 sensor. DH11 sensor is a sensor combined with humidity sensor and temperature sensor all in one. The DH11 sensor also used the I2C protocol, which is not the normal use case for the GPIO. We'll learn how to control it using the Adafruit library, which is very, very easy to use. The DH11 have three pins as well positive pin, negative pin, and the data pin, which goes to I2C. We don't need to worry about which pin to connect where. The crop eye will take care of all of it for us. So, what can we get from it and what can we do? Let's go to our crop eye and see. So we are back at our crop eye now. Let's take a look at our DH11 sensor. The DH11 sensor is the sensor right here, the blue little sensor located on top of the touch sensor and next to the relay sensor. The DH11 sensor can not only calculate the temperature, but also the humidity, just like we mentioned before. So, how do we control it? Let's take a look on, into our Python script. We go into our crop eye folder, same as before, and we are looking for a script called dh11.py. We are we're gonna open it with our favorite IDE, and we will go line by line and check what it's made of. So the first thing to see is that we use two new libraries we haven't used before. The first one is the sys library, which using the system functions, for example, to quit the application or do other, fun other operations related to the system. The second thing we import is Adafruit DHT library. The Adafruit DHT library is a library to control sensor like the DH11. It does not include only DH11, but also other sensors. So we need to set what kind of sensor we are going to use with this library. In the sensor variable, we are setting 11, which means DH11 sensor. We are going to use the DH11, so we will set 11 right here. And then to the pin, we set 4, as we use the pin number 4 to connect with the GPIO. Then, we are checking with very, very easy to use API made by Adafruit if humidity is not none and temperature is not none means that if humidity is not zero and temperature is not zero means that we have something right here, then print temperature, humidity and put inside the data from the sensor using format function. If it's none, it means something went wrong and we should try it again. You should never reach this point, but we just put the script just in case. So, let's run and see what happens. Click the green button to execute the script. The script will take a moment. Here, you can see, the temperature in our room is 26 degrees and the humidity level is 69. Pretty high, I'd say. So, what's the humidity and the temperature in your room? You can check this out with our crop eye and the DH11 sensor, now when you know how to use it. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in our next lesson.